Hello, I'm Owen Fitzpatrick, author of the book The Charismatic Edge and creator of the Online Charisma Training Academy and Online Time Mastery Course, two amazing courses you should definitely get your hands on. Well, technically you can't get your hands on them because they're online, but you can find login information to be able to access them all and they're terrific. Genuinely, really, I'm not just saying that. Anyway, in this video I want to talk to you about the next episode of the Sarcastic Series. Not talk to you about, I'm actually going to do it. And this episode is entitled, How to Become More of an Idiot. You know, there's a lot of idiots out there. I mean, all you have to do is, you know, open up Facebook. It's wonderful. No disrespect to any of my Facebook friends. If you're my Facebook friend, I'm not talking about you. But if you open up Facebook, you'll see some examples of people being stupid. And the examples of people being stupid, I mean, we're all stupid to some degree and some extent. But there's not a lot of education out there about how to be stupid. So in this uh, area, I want to talk to you about the most important things you need to know if you want to become a complete idiot. First of all is be closed-minded. A lot of people are like talking about open-mindedness. And yeah, open-mindedness allows you to learn more, allows you to be smarter, allows you to be better, allows you to see things from different perspectives. That's all overrated a lot of the times if you want to become stupid. If you want to become stupid and more of an idiot, you need to make sure that you're closed-minded. So whatever idea you have, that's the truth. Anyone else that disagrees, they're just wrong. And the reason why they're wrong is because they're wrong. If you just use that little circular logic, it works great. So why are you wrong? Because you're wrong. That's it. Don't even go into the evidence. You do not, you're an idiot, you do not want to know about this whole thing of evidence and accuracy and any of that stuff. Use, you're wrong because you're wrong. And if you say it with a little bit more emphasis as well, it doesn't really do much for you, but at least it convinces you that you're saying something with merit, even though you're not. So again, be closed-minded. The more closed-minded you are, the easier it is. Second of all, attack people that aren't like you. You know, there's a lot of different races and, and, uh, and colors and, and, uh, and religions and, and types of people uh, that we can, uh, you know, not like. There's so much choice there. If you want to be an idiot, absolutely hate as many people as you can and also target them and attack them. It's great, you know, the internet allows you to attack people. It's called trolling. Now there's two types of trolling. There's good trolling where people are funny and, you know, parody and sarcasm and, you know, they do stuff like that. They're quite clever. And then there's trolling where you're actually a mean person. I mean, you can be mean and stupid at the same time. So you can go and you go, nye, 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 nye. I don't like these people and they're all the same. Use generalizations, by the way. It's brilliant. Generalize everyone. You know, if you ever get one example of a person that's bad that happens to be a particular whatever, then you go, that person is, nye, 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 nye. they're all the same. Every one of them, there's no such thing. They're all this. Brilliant because then you paint everyone with the one brush, which also helps you be closed-minded as well. It's terrific. And you get to attack them as well. In fact, you could, you could even attack me. You could attack me because this is going on YouTube. You can write in the comment section, you go, uh, I don't like him. You do, 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 do. I don't like the way he talks. He's so stupid. He's trying to be funny, but he's not funny. You're not funny. You're not funny. You can do it. Go ahead. The more you do it, the better an idiot you are, the stupider you are. So please be stupid. Do it, attack me, please attack me, please. Because the more you do it, the more you're actually doing what I say, which is in a way indirectly respecting me. You know, I win, win-win. You don't do it, you don't attack me, cool. You do do it, you attack me, you still fall into my trap. Win-win. The next step is to be able to make sure, as well as being closed-minded, as well as making sure that you're Attacking people who are different to you. Oh, by the way, don't just let it stay on you know races or uh, religions or points of view or perspectives or where they live. Attack people who are not like you in, in, in other ways. You know, if they like a different ice cream than you, attack them because you know they're not like you. You know, so pff, ice cream. What, what, what you mean? You like chocolate? What you mean? Like you like pecan? Ugh! What an idiot you are. God. I can't believe God let people you like you to exist. Um, again, if they're not religious, it's best to use God. If they are religious, then you know, use universe. That'll point them. You go, I can't believe the universe led you to exist because that's almost attacking religion as well. So it's kind of two in one. 
So again, that's a, a, an effective way of doing it. Another key towards being ignorant and stupid and an idiot is use only one source of information. Do not look around. Find the, 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 the people that personify your view the most and just take everything from them and cut and paste links and make sure you show it on your Facebook wall so that people can see example after example after example of your idiocy. That's not an actual word, but I mean your stupidity, your complete disregard for logic, reason, facts, fairness, and intelligent argument. Make sure you use the same source for all the information so you demonstrate how brainwashed you are by the media. The more brainwashed you are, the stupider you are. And the stupider you are, the more of an idiot you come across. It's that simple. So use one source and that will allow you to be able to do everything effectively. And then lastly, never propose solutions. Solutions are for losers. I mean, strictly speaking, solutions are for people who solve things, but solutions are kind of for losers. Just repeat that a few times and because you're an idiot, you'll believe it. The more that you look for solutions, the more you're identifying how to get make things better. But that's too hard. I mean, do you really want to use your brain that much? Stop. Complaining is so much easier. Watch. Own is such an idiot. This stuff doesn't work. He should stop doing it. It's so easy. It's so easy to do that. Complaining. The world is so wrong. Everything's messed up in this world. The government is crap. The banking system is destroyed. People are unfair. People are horrible. People are doing the wrong kinds of stuff. Do not propose a solution. That's the easy part. The hard part is to have to go, here's what should happen, or here's what I'd like to happen, or here's what could happen, or here's a better way. Do not get caught into the solutions. Too much effort, too much energy. You want to be an idiot? Just complain. Just moan. Just whine. Simple, easy, to the point. It's a simple strategy. So again, it's a very, very useful way of doing things. So people will tell you, of course, if you want to become smart, you need to be open-minded. You need to look at things from different perspectives. You need to make sure that you've got a number of different sources to your information, that you respect people that are different to you, and you respect all different types of people, all cultures, all ethnicities, all religions, all different types of uh, races and different types of people. You respect them all equally, and that you value every single human being exactly the same. They will say to you that you need to make sure that you propose solutions and you think in a way that's conducive towards making a difference. And if you do that, yes, you will be much smarter and much more intelligent. But you won't be stupid and you won't be a complete idiot. So if you want to be a complete idiot, stay close-minded, attack people who are not like you, make sure that you use the same source for all of your information so you're a total brainwashed idiot and you allow the media to dictate exactly what you think because you're so stupid that you'll just buy into any bullshit that they tell you. And make sure, first, uh, finally, make sure you just Focus on the problem. Do not even consider the solutions too much energy. By doing that, you will be one of the biggest idiots on the planet and you will make sure that your Facebook page is a wonderful advertisement for the true ignorance that exists in the human mind. I really do hope that this helps you become a complete and total idiot in every single way you could. I hope that you find these ideas useful and valuable and I hope that you've written something nasty under this page um, to be really mean to me, um, you know, because that helps. For now, I'm Owen Fitzpatrick. Thank you for watching, and please make sure you bring your own stupidity to the table more and more and more and more and more. Bye-bye.